Concepts like sex addiction and porn addiction have been around for at least a generation. But I'm often asked whether porn can really be addictive. You see, some people argue as follows. Only drugs can be addictive. Porn isn't a drug, right? You don't inhale it, you don't inject it. Therefore, porn can't be addictive. The first thing we need to do, I think, is define our terms. What do we mean by addiction? Well, the American Society of Addiction Medicine says that addiction is a chronic disease of the brain. You see, the brain contains and creates millions of neurocircuits that are for memory and rewarding behaviors. And addictions are basically dysfunctions in these circuits where a person is pathologically pursuing neurological rewards. Recently, the same society expanded and clarified the definition of addiction to include not just substance addictions, that which we inhale and inject and so forth, but also behavioral addictions. Why? Because certain behaviors can impact our neurocircuits just like substances can. Dr. Donald L. Hilton, who is a neurosurgeon, said that this idea that porn can't be addictive is hopelessly out of touch with what we now know through modern neuroscience. Here's the gist of the evidence. First, let's say you hook someone up to a brain scanner who's verifiably addicted to cocaine. The brain scan will show a loss of volume in the brain, especially in the frontal lobes of the brain. You'll see the same thing for someone who's addicted to, say, meth. When you have shrinkage in this area of the brain, people experience uncontrollable cravings. When their impulses kick in, this area of the brain that's meant to throw on the brakes and control the impulse is so weak, the person's body begins gearing up and they experience that gotta have it feeling. Interestingly, a few recent studies now show the same phenomenon in the brain when it comes to someone who's addicted to sex or who's a porn addict. Furthermore, over the last several years, there have been dozens of studies showing how overuse of the internet in particular can lead to addictive behavior, whether it be centered around gaming or gambling or porn. These are all behavioral addictions where the behavior has become so hardwired in the brain that the person has similar sensations as someone addicted to a external drug. So both drugs like meth or alcohol and behaviors like porn are tapping the same neurocircuits. Here's the good news. We have evidence that shows that the brain can heal itself so that even if you've been addicted to porn or are addicted to it, take courage. It's possible for you to renew your mind and make great changes. If you want to learn a whole lot more about this, go to covenanteyes.com and download the free ebook, Your Brain on Porn.